Hey friends, what up? Welcome back to, who could tell me? Babylon Talmud. Today we're studying Daf Yud Zayin, Daf 17 of Masechta uh, Sukkot. Chebet, Daf 17, man. Woof, man, like, I'm telling you, man, like, Sukkah is freaking, they shouldn't call it Sukkah, they should call it mm, Shaber, Shaberavin. They should call it Shaberavin. That's, that, that's what they should call Sukkah. They should call it Shabbaravin. That's what they should call it. It's basically the most complicated parts of Shabbos and Erevin that they put together into one Masechta and they call it Sukkah. And Lemaise, we shouldn't stop there. We should talk a call the festival of Sukkot. We should call it Shabbaravin. Why not? Let's just erase all of Sukkah from everywhere and just call it Shabbaravin. That's probably a bad idea. That's a bad idea. All right, we should edit that out. That was a bad idea. Anyways, Chavre, what am I talking about? What I'm talking about is that today's daf basically takes all the complicated parts, like all the things that, like when we think of Masech the Shabbos, like, oh, that was hard. When we think of Masech the Erevin, it's like, oh, that was hard. Daf Yud Zayin. But I'll tell you something good. The Maise Daf Yud Zayin isn't too bad. Uh, but it, it is that. Meaning, so what do we talk about? We talk about Lovud, right? We talk about Lovud. We talk about Dofen Akuma. Um, we talk about combining the two. So what if you have, um, you know, less than three tfachim of space and less than four tfachim of schach, puzzle, or maybe four amis and combining those two and mixing and matching. We also get into combining different types of tum and tara, which is kind of the hard stuff about Shabbos. When I think about the different, difficult parts of Masech, the Shabbos, I think about all the different intricate tuma and tara sugyas. So we get to those kind of things as well. Um, we're going to see Machlokas Rav and Shmuel about what the amount, this is important, what the amount of uh, schach posel that makes your sukkah posel. Uh, this is important because, of course, it's a common shiloh when it comes to building a sukkah. You know, there are parts that aren't kosher and you know, the, is it is it a problem? Is it not a problem? So, Kevin, we're going to stop, start on Daf Yud Zayin Omer Aleph at the top of the page at the Mishnah. Here, Chik is a excuse me, a sasikuch min adfanu shlosh tzvachim psula. Kevin, do you hear this? This is important because it touches on a on on a discussion that we had on WhatsApp the other week. That the, says the Mishnah here, Chik is a sasikuch min adfanu shlosh tzvachim psula. Hillel asked the Kasha, he says, when it comes to Dauphin Akuma, does it actually have to be Pasul Schach there, right? We say you have four, you have up to four Amis of leeway from the wall to where the Kasher Schach begins. So if you have up to four Amis of Pasul Schach next to the wall, so we could say Dauphin Akuma. Now says the Mishnah, if that is not Pasul Schach, however, if what it is, is space, if Right next to the wall, there's three tvachim of space. Well, then you can no longer say dofen akuma. There's too much space. You can no longer say lavud, and, and and it's a sukkah apostle. Now, we have pointed out in WhatsApp that that apparently it's taka machlokas tanoim when a uh, uh, machlokas rishonim when it comes to um, dofen akuma that maybe you can actually consider it as though the wall itself is on an angle to meet the kosher schach and bypasses the space. Says Rashi. He doesn't understand what those Rishonim would do with this Mishnah. Because uh, says Rashi, or at least the way that Rashi wants to understand Dofen Akuma and understand this Mishnah, is that if there's three Tvachim of space from the wall to where the Schach begins, that is Pasul. We can no longer say Lavud. It's Pasul. Too much space. Can't say Dofen Akuma. No good. Now, Okay, classic Tofen Akuma case. You have a house that the middle of the roof, right? It's a flat roof and the middle of the roof caved in. And where the roof caved in, you filled it in with Kosher Schach. So basically, you have Kosher Schach in the middle, but surrounding it is Pasul. Is, 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 uh, so what's interesting, as the Gemara is going to point out, it's not exactly Pasul Schach, right? Meaning the, the roof may have been made of materials that theoretically could be kosher schach, but it's taisev lomina osu, right? You didn't make it for your sukkah. It was, it was initially the roof of your house. So even though technically speaking, the materials might be materials that are kosher for schach, but it's not going to be kosher schach because, um, it was your roof of your house and it's taisev lomina osu, but then you fill in the middle of it with uh, kosher schach. Okay. So by shenifchaz v'sikech al gabov, im yeshmen akosel l'sikoch so if between the walls of the house and where your schach begins, i.e. if the remaining roof that is surrounding the kosher schach is 
um, more than is four amis or more, so then the sukkah is possible. But if it's less than four amis, we could say dofen akuma, and the area under the uh, kosher schach is going to be a kosher sukkah. However, keep in mind the area under the roof that still is standing is not going to be a kosher sukkah. You can't sit or sleep under that part. You hear what this is? This is a take chevre. If you live in Achlaot, if you live in Yerushalayim in Achlaot where I live, so you can go to um to what what are they Mishk Mishk no uh the what do they call that? There's like there's Bate Rand there's Bate Rand there's Bate Broide and then there's um what do they call the other one? I forget what they call the other one. I don't think it's called Mishkanus. It's uh, called something, something else. But the third one, the third like Haredi little area. So, so, so in their taka, it's you have houses on both sides of this like chutzer, like mamish. You have to walk in. There's a gate on one side and a gate on the other side. You walk into this area. There are houses on either side, and each house has like its own mere peset in front of it. Mamish, it's like. Pretty much what we're talking about. The only difference between that and this is, um, is, is that this is surrounded on three sides, whereas that side, that, that, that one is only surrounded on two sides. But the point is, so you have this, like, chotzer, that the houses are around it in a U. Or in Israel, they would say a chet. And in front of each house is like a mir peset, like a chotzer, like, like its own, like, private porch area. And the porch has a roof on top of it. But there's no wall between sort of the middle of the chatzar, the shared space by everybody, and each individual porch, right? So basically, you have your house. In front of your house is this porch. There's no wall separating your porch and the main shared space between everybody of the chatzar. So, but there's a roof on top of everybody's porch. So basically, what you have over here is you have a Dauphin Akuma situation. You have the walls of everybody's house so that separates their home and the porch is, so everyone's got that wall and that's going all the way around the chutzer. Now, after that wall, everybody's got their porch and the porch has a roof on top of it. And then if you want to fill in the chutzer with schach, which means that basically what you have is you have the wall surrounding the chutzer, meaning the walls of everybody's houses that are between their, separating between their house and their porch. So that's the wall that's going to be your three walls of the sukkah, is ev- basically the walls of everybody's house, surrounds the chotzer to make their walls of the sukkah. And then everybody, the, the roof of everybody's porch is basically going to be dofen akuma, right? It's basically going to be, you know, it's possible, it's not going to be kosher for the sukkah because it's the roof of their porch. Um, but it's it's basically possible schach, let's say, between the walls of their house and where the kosher schach starts, because you're filling in from the roof of the porch, you're then filling in the entire middle of the chotzer with schach. Right now you're covering the entire sort of inner part, the shared space of the chotzer, now is kosher schach on top of it, which basically means that the only problem is that between the part that has kosher schach and the walls of everybody's houses is the walls of the porch, which is... Um, Obviously not, it's Taisa Vlom, and also it's not going to be kosher schach, even if it was technically made of kosher materials. So the, this just becomes a case of dofen akuma, and we say, well, if it's less than four amis, so we could say dofen akuma. If it's four amis or more, we cannot say dofen akuma. So again, so, um, so you have this chotzer that's surrounded by these porches, so sukkah, or a sukkah gedola she kif oh no period v'chein chotzer she mukafes achsadra period. Also, we would say uh, you know if it's less than four amos dofen akuma four amos or more we cannot say dofen akuma. Sukkah gedola she kifua b'davar she misakrin bo. If you have taka a big sukkah, stam a big sukkah kilo I don't know enough that we could say four you know enough that it certainly has four amos surrounding it or slightly less plus you know. Uh, Rosh of Rubo inside of it. Akuponim. So, so if you have a big sukkah, Sheikifu Bedav Hashem Misakrim Bo, and surrounding the, the sort of schach is something that you're not allowed to use for schach. Kilu. You basically have up to four amis of schach posel surrounding the sukkah, meaning next to the walls. 
Im yesh tachtav ay ba'amis p'sula. So if the schach posel is four amis, so then the sukkah is posel. If the schach posel is less than four amis, so then we can say dofen akuma. Frech the Gemara ane kol ane lomeli. Frech the Gemara, how come I need three cases of dofen akuma? Why wouldn't one case of dofen akuma be enough? I feel like we kind of understand what dofen akuma is. Tzricha. We needed all three cases. The Ashmo inan ba'is she nifchos. Because if we would only have the first case of the house that the roof, that, you know, the middle of the roof caved in, Mishum dahani mechitzis libayis avidon. I would say that the reason why we could say dofen akuma over here and say that it's a kosher sukkah is because the walls that you're bending, so to, essentially, right? I Meaning what's dofen akuma? We're saying, well, the walls of the sukkah are considered like bent until they reach the, the schach kosher in the middle. So, Maybe I would say that makes sense when the walls that we're talking about are walls of the sukkah, essentially, right? Meaning in a house, you have this house, the roof caved in in the middle, and you're saying, okay, well, then let's use this house as the sukkah. So the walls surrounding this house are basically the walls of the sukkah. They're meant to be for the house, which is now your sukkah. And therefore, we're saying that this roof, which is the actual roof of the house that didn't, the part that didn't cave in, we're just saying, well, the walls are bending over towards the middle of the roof where we now have our kosher sukkah, and it makes sense. However, But when it comes to the chotzer, what are the walls that are going to be used for our sukkah in the chotzer? The walls of the houses. The walls of the houses are not meant for the chotzer, they're meant for the houses. Right? They divide between the house and the porch. Now, why'd you build that wall? You build your wall for the, for, for the house to like, you know, denote space and have privacy inside of your house. Which means that theoretically, if, if we had to bend the walls one way, we, we would say, well, you got to bend the walls inward towards the house, not outwards towards the chatzar. And what we're doing is we're saying that we're saying dofen akuma, we're viewing it as though the walls of the houses are bent into the chatzar. So that we could now say that it's dofen akuma and the, and the, and the sukkah, which is basically the shared space of the chatzar, is now a kosher sukkah because we're saying dofen akuma that the walls of the houses bend inside to the chotzer into our, our, our sukkah that we're building and we could say dofen akuma. So I might have the avmin to say that you cannot say that the wall bends in that direction because the wall is the wall of the house, not the wall of the chotzer. And therefore, I would say that if we have to bend the wall, maybe we only bend the wall towards the direction of the inside of the house, not towards the direction of the shared space of the chotzer. So kamash mullah, no, we can even say dofen akuma in, in, in that direction as well. Right? It doesn't have to be, you know, only the direction of, of, of the structure that it was built for. You can even say, uh, dofen akuma, that it bends in the opposite direction as well, which is how we could say that the wall of the house bends into the porch slash chatzar for, to, 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 uh, make our sukkah po- uh, kosher. Fine. Ve'ashminan anitarte, and if you'd only have the case of the house that the roof caved in and, um, um, the achsadra, the, uh, the, the, the chatzar with achsadra, so mishum deschach and schach kosher, because in both of those cases the um, schach, the roof is technically speaking kosher schach, right? Meaning your house, the roof of your house that caved in could have been made with perfectly kosher schach, right? And the 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 roof of your of your of your porch could have been made with perfectly kosher schach. The problem is the reason why it doesn't work is because ties have loman also. While technically speaking the materials could have been kosher materials, but um, they were made for your house, or they were made for your porch. They weren't made for your sukkah. So that's why they're not allowed. Aval, sukkah gedola shikifu b'davashem yisakrim bo, deschach posulu. However, in the case of the sukkah where it's explicit, the big sukkah that, that the first up to four amis of schach is schach posul. So maybe I would say we don't say dofen akuma when it's mamish, a material that you're not allowed to use. Let's say metal beams, let's say. You know, um, so aim alow. I would say that maybe we would not say Dofen Akuma. Tzricha, we would say even when it's Chach Pasel, we do say Dofen Akuma. Okay, now we get to a uh, discussion about how much um, Chach Pasel in the middle of the Sukkah makes the Sukkah Pasel. Okay, so if I have some, so I have a, I have a Sukkah, Chach Kasher and everything, but in the middle, there's some Chach Pasel. There's some schach posel. How much schach posel in the middle of the sukkah will it take to make the entire sukkah posel? Now, 
If it's from the sides, so it's no problem because we'll say Dofen Akuma if it's within four Amas. We're talking about when, once, once we get past the four Amma mark. Once we get past the four Amma mark, how much Schach Pasel in the middle of the Sukkah is going to um, invalidate the entire enterprise? Let's go weiter. Omar Rabba says, Rabba, Ashki Chosinu Rabbona Devei Rav, Givaldik. Says Rabba, I found the rabbis in the Bismedrish of Rav. Interesting. Very interesting. I'll tell you why it's interesting. It's interesting because first when I read Rabbana de Rav, I thought it meant the rabbis. Because I think that that's what Be Rav could mean, you know, the Beis Medrash. Rashi says that no, Davka means the Beis Medrash of Rav. And why is it interesting? It's slightly interesting because Rabba the Maisa was a student of Rav Yehuda, was a student of Rav. So he kind of skipped a generation over there. So it's like, I understand if it's like Rav Yehuda came to the Beis Medrash of Rav, but Rav, Rabba is already like the next generation and he was already by the Bismedrish of Rab, which is interesting. We saw in, in, in Ave Psachim that Taka Abaye, who was the next generation after Rabba, overlapped already with Rav Yehuda, kind of, you know, two generations prior. So it could be that Rabba also overlapped with Rab, but uh, I'm not exactly sure. But anyways, um, okay. Rabba found the students of the Bismedrish of Rab, and fine. And the Yazvi Amre, and they were saying the following. Listen up. Ovir so if you have three tvachim of space in the middle of the sukkah, so then it's a problem. You can no longer say lavud, and you have a gap in the scha in the sukkah. We can't say it's connected anymore, and um, it's a problem. So three tvachim of gap of space is a problem in the middle of the sukkah. Now, if you have Four tvachim of pasul schach. Let, let, let's say you took um, metal skewers, and so you have kosher schach, the whole sukkah, and smack in the middle of the sukkah, you have four tvachim of metal skewers. Kabul tuma, you can't use them. Four tvachim of metal skewers, the entire sukkah is now pasul. Okay, fine. Ve'amid ana and says Rabba, I said to them, of your deposel b'shlosha minalechu. And Rabbi asked them, he says, one second, friends, how do you know that three tvachim of space, of gap of space in the middle of the sukkah is possible? The entire sukkah is possible if there's three tvachim of gap. How do you know that, friends? Ditnan. It must be because we learned in our Mishnah that we learned that the, the first thing we learned today. Hirchik esasikuch min adfanu shlosha tvachim psula. If you distance the schach from the walls, three tvachim, it's possible. That's what the Mishnah says. Well, schach posel nami, well, says Rabbi, if that's the case, then the amount of schach posel that should make the sukkah posel, lifsol ela be'arba amis. The shear of schach posel should be for amis, not for tvachim, like you're saying. Rather, for Amis. Ditnan, as we learn in the very same Mishnah, by Shinifchaz Vesikich Al Gabav, that if you have a house that the roof caved in, and you fill in the caved in area with Kosher Schach, in Yesh Ben Asikuch Likosel Dalet Amis, Psula. That if between the wall and the Schach there's four Amis, then it's Psula. Less than that, it's Kshera. So Rabba wants to argue that from the fact, meaning, the, these people from the Besamejish of Rav were saying that space in the middle of the sukkah invalidates the sukkah by three tvachim, yet schach posel will invalidate the sukkah by four tvachim. And says, Rabba, I don't understand where you come up with four tvachim, because I can understand where you come up with three tvachim for space, because the Mishnah says, if there's three tvachim of space, it's a problem. Well, that same Mishnah, says Rabba, says that how much schach posel is a problem? Four amis. We we're talking about tofen akuma. It's four amis. Therefore, Rabba wants to say that just like we get the amount of space that's a problem from our Mishnah, which is three tvachim, so we should also look to our Mishnah when looking for how much schach posel is a problem and say that it's four amis, not four tvachim. The Amruli, and in the Bissamejish of Rab, they responded to me, and they said, 
Meaning this is Rabbah saying all this. So Rabbah is saying that they responded to me. Barmina dehahi. Don't bring me, <clears throat> excuse me, do not bring me a raya from that Mishnah. Don't argue from that Mishnah that Tzach Pasul in the middle of the Sukkah is for Amis. Because Rav and Shmuel said that what's the reason for four Amis in the Mishnah? The reason for four Amis in the Mishnah for Tzach Pasul is because of Dofin Akuma. That only applies to when it's next to the walls. We could say Dofin Akuma, but in the middle of the Sukkah, where it's no longer Dofin Akuma, then you can no longer apply the four Amma amount. Four Amas is specifically for Dofin Akuma, when you can say that the wall is bent, if it's in the middle of the Sukkah and you cannot say that it's considered a bent wall, you can no longer say Dofin Akuma, and therefore the four Amas, which is specific to Dofin Akuma, is irrelevant. And therefore, what's the amount that's going to make the, the Sukkah possible? Well, we know that in general, what's the amount that's considered a significant amount of space? Four Tfachim. We know from the beginning of Masech the Shabbos already that a Rishus is four Tfachim. Four Tfachim is considered significant. And therefore, say the, uh, the students of the Bismedjit of Rav, four Amis is irrelevant over here. That's Allah of Dofin Akuma. This is the middle of the Sukkah. There's no longer Dofin Akuma. Four Amis is irrelevant. So how much Schach Pasul is going to be a problem? Well, we know that four Tfachim in general is considered a significant amount of space. Four Tfachim is what's going to be a problem for Schach Pasul. So, Three Tvachim for space and four Tvachim for Schach Pasul. Ve'amina lehu ono. And then Rabbah asks Akasha. And he says, wait, but I don't understand something. I don't understand something. So you fellows, you say that Schach Pasul is a problem of four Tvachim. And space is a problem of three Tvachim. Let me ask you Akasha, says Rabbah. Ma ilu ika schach posel pachus mear ba'a. What if you have less than four tvachim of schach posel? Ve ovir pachus mishlosha. And you have space less than three tvachim. So each one in and of themselves doesn't have the proper shear, right? Space is posel by three tvachim. Schach posel is posel by four tvachim. Now you have less than four tvachim of schach posel, and you have less than three tvachim of space, and they're right next to each other. My ksheir. So in that case, it would be kosher. So even though you have, you know, uh, slight, you, you know, uh, t- if you add up the amount of schach posel with the amount of space, you have, you know, I don't know, uh, let's say, uh, what's a good way to say this? So let's say, Three and a half tvachim of schach posel and two and a half tvachim of space, which would be, um, what, like six tvachim of not, let's just say not kosher schach, right? Meaning you have three and a half tvachim of schach posel, two and a half tvachim of space. So that's now a total of six tvachim where you don't have any kosher schach there. And yet we're saying it's kosher because each one of these two things that are right next to each other don't on their own, have enough to make it possible. Meaning, look, the space, space is possible by three tvachim. Here you don't have three tvachim. And right next to it is schach posel. Schach posel is possible by four tvachim. You don't have four tvachim. Now, my my psula. Now, if you were to take that space, these two and a half tvachim of space, and fill it in with skewers, schach posel. So now, you have the three and a half tfachim of schach posel, plus the two and a half tfachim that was space that you now filled in with posel schach. So now you basically have six tfachim of posel schach. Psula. So now, of course, it's posel because you have six tfachim of posel schach. And you guys are saying that the cutoff is four tfachim. Now, Frecht Rabba, he says, does this make any sense? Shouldn't the space which is more stringent in that it's possible by three tfachim be at least considered as, you know, as significant as which is possible, more lenient in that it's possible by four tfachim? 
Why is it kosher until you fill it in with schach pasul? What does this mean? Meaning, space is more stringent than schach pasul. How come? Well, because space, the cutoff is three tvachim. Once you have three tvachim of space, the sukkah is pasul. Whereas schach pasul is more lenient because you have up until four tvachim before the sukkah is going to be pasul. And therefore, we're saying that when you have two and a half tvachim of space right next to three and a half tvachim of schach pasul, we say that that is no problem because, well, you don't have a shear of space and you don't have a shear of schach pasul. That's no problem. Yet, when you then fill it in with schach pasul, you fill in the space with schach pasul, so now you have six tvachim of schach pasul in our example, which means that you're basically giving it an upgrade, so to speak, with a more lenient material, right? When you had the three and a half tvachim of schach pasul right next to the two and a half tvachim of space, that was a kosher sukkah. And yet, now, when you fill in the two and a half tvachim of space, with schach pasul, which is a more lenient material, because schach pasul, there's more leeway, right? You have up until four tvachim before the sukkah's pasul, whereas schach, whereas space, you only have up until three tvachim where the sukkah's pasul. So you're basically filling in the space with something that's with a more lenient material, and all of a sudden now it becomes pasul, because now you have more than four tvachim of schach pasul, yet when you had three and a half tvachim of schach pasul plus two and a half tvachim of space, which the space is actually more stringent than the schach pasul, yet it's kosher because we say that each one on its own doesn't have a sheer lift soul. You have less than three tvachim of space and less than four tvachim of schach pasul. And yet when you fill it in with the more lenient material, when you fill in the space with the schach pasul, which is a more lenient material than the space, all of a sudden now it becomes pasul. Says Rabbi, that makes no sense. And therefore... Your whole opinion makes no sense. It makes no sense to say that schach pasul is pasul be'arba'a and, and space is pasul be'shalosh because then you get to the situation that, that we just asked where it doesn't make any sense where you have schach pasul right next to space and in that case it's kosher but then when you fill it in with schach pasul it becomes pasul. Says Rabbah, it, it doesn't, it, that, that doesn't add up. The Amruli, and then they responded to me, if that's the case, they responded to Rabbah and say, don't you have the same exact fault? The Amr Tzchach Pasul Pasul Ba'arba Amis, that you Rabbah say that Tzchach Pasul, the amount is for Amis, not for Tfachim. Well then won't you ask the same question? Ma'ilu ika Tzchach Pasul Pachus Midalet Amis ve'ovir Pachus Mishlosha Ma'i Ksheira. Rabbah, if you have less than four Amis of Schach Pasul, and right next to that is less than three Tfachim of space, we'll say that it's a kosher Sukkah because you don't have a shear of Schach Pasul and you don't have a shear of space. Mal Yubishvudin Mai Psula. And yet, if you take this less than three Tfachim of space and you fill it in with Schach Pasul, with metal skewers, all of a sudden, now the, now the Sukkah is Pasul. So Kilu, when you had the less than four Amis of Schach Pasul, right next to the less than three Tvachim of space, it was a Kasher Sukkah. I.e., when you had this space which is more stringent than the Schach Pasul, in that you only have a leeway of three Tvachim, whereas the Schach Pasul you have up until four Amis, and yet the Sukkah is Kasher, and then when you fill it in with the more lenient Schach Pasul, all of a sudden, now it becomes pasul. Lo ye over a pasul b'shlosha kisach pasul ha pasul be arba amis. Shouldn't the less than three tefachim of space be at least as significant as the schach pasul that you add later, which is more lenient in that it's only pasul the sukkah by four amis. So shouldn't the space when it was there next to the schach pasul be as significant? As the schach pasul you add later, meaning when you add later the schach pasul, all of a sudden the sukkah becomes pasul. But beforehand, when you add the space there, shouldn't that have been at least as significant as that schach pasul? I.e., to say that when you have that space of less than three tefachim next to the less than four amis of schach pasul, shouldn't that already pasul the sukkah? So therefore, they asked the rabbah, 
The same kasha that you ask on us, we can ask on you. Just you asked on us regarding fourth fach, and we'll ask it on you regarding four amas. But it's the same question. And says Rabba, and I replied to them, Hi, my. He says, one second. Bishlama Lididi, I understand according to me, says Rabba. The Amina Arba Amis Mishum Shiura Vilav Shiura Hu. Hi Lav Shiura Hu. Kevd Lo Shabu Shiura Ayula Adade Lomit Starfe. Says Rabba, I understand according to my opinion. What's my opinion? My opinion is that what's the shear of Pasul Schach? Four Amis. What's four Amis? Where did we come up with four Amis? Where have we ever seen four Amis before? Halach l'moshim isinai. That's a, that there's halach l'moshim isinai. Now when it comes to schach, schach pasul becomes a problem by four amas. Now that's whether it's from the side where we say dofen akuma, it's whether it's in the middle. Schach pasul is a problem by four amas. That's halach l'moshim isinai, says Rab. And lavud, right? Space, that once you have three tefachim of space, we don't say lavud anymore. This concept of lavud is also halach l'moshim isinai. And they're apples and oranges. The shear of schach pasul is four amas. It's halach l'moshim isinai. The shear of space is three tefachim. It's halach l'moshim isinai. It's an apple halach l'moshim isinai and an orange halach l'moshim isinai. And you can't add an apple halach l'moshim isinai with an orange halach l'moshim isinai. Just like you can't add an apple from shuk machne yuda to an orange from shuk machne yuda. Apples, oranges. Good. Apples and oranges. So says Raba. He says, he says, he says, look, I understand according to me that the issue with Schach Pasul is Dalar Amas Halachal Moshe Misinai. The issue with space is three Tvachim Halachal Moshe Misinai. And you can't, you can't, you, apples and oranges, you, you, you can't add them together. You can't join them together. And therefore, as long as you have less than four Amas of Schach Pasul and less than three Tvachim of, of, of space, you can't join them together to say that the shir, that the sukkah is possible. But when you fill in the space with schach possible, so now you have four amas of schach possible, and now the sukkah is possible. Let's read that again. Bishlama Didi says, Rabbi, I understand according to me, the Amina, that I say Arba Amas, that when we say that schach possible is possible with four amas, Mishum Shi'ur Vileav Shi'uru. It's a question of, is it the shir Allah Lamosh Misinai or not? Is it four amas? Which is the shear of Allah Moshe Misinai of Schach Pasul. Hi, Lav Shi'uru. And here, as long as it's less than four, four Amis of Schach Pasul, you don't have the proper amount. You don't have the shear. And since the shear of, for Amis, for Sach Pasul and three Tvachim for space are different Shi'urim, are apples and oranges, you can't join them together. But according to you, my friends, from the Bismedrish of Rab, that you say that the Shir of Sach Pasul is four Tvachim. How come it's four Tvachim? Why not? We don't have Allah Moshe Misinai, right? Allah Moshe Misinai is only by Dauphin Akuma. This is the middle of the Sukkah, there's no Dauphin Akuma. So then how much Sach Pasul is Pasul? Well, I don't know. In general, we say that a significant amount of space is four tefachim. So, four tefachim. So, it's not about a specific halach l'moshim isinai that's saying that four tefachim of schach pasul makes the sukkah pasul. It's, we don't want to have too much space. If we have too much space, it's like that there's a big gap in the middle of the sukkah and it's like two separate sukkahs. So, four tefachim of space is too much space. Well, according to you, tamisu shir mishum haflaga, that the amount that the amount of schach pasul is based on what's considered a space that's too much space that's considered too far away that's considered you know a, a, you know four tefachim is already considered a significant amount of space to to not have any kosher schach. Well, then mali is palig b'schach pasul mali is palig b'schach pasul v'avir. So then says Rabbi, but according to you. That the shear of four tefachim is because we don't want to have a space, a significant amount of space without any kosher schach. 
right? That if you have four tefachim of schach pasul, then mele, that means that you have four tefachim where there's no kosher schach, and that's too much space. That's a significant amount of space without schach kosher. So, asks Rabbah, according to you guys, so in a, ki- in a case where you have less than four tefachim of schach pasul, but right next to it is less than three tefachim of space, but schach akol, if we're going to go with our example of three and a half tefachim of schach pasul, and then you have next to it two and a half tefachim of space, well, schach akol, you have six tefachim without any schach kosher. So shouldn't those add together to say that this is too much space without any schach kosher? That was the kasha that Rabbah asks against the students of the Bismedjish of Rab. Omer le Abai, Snabai asks the kasha on Rabbah. Now Abai asks the kasha on Rabbah. Mulamar nami nihidilo shavu shiurayu besuka gedola besuka ketana milo shavu shiurayu. Now asks Abai a kasha on Raba. And he says, one second. Sure, I understand in a big sukkah where there's plenty of space, so the amount of puzzle space and the amount of puzzle schach are different. The amount of puzzle schach is for Amis. The amount of puzzle um, space is um, three tfach. Right? So in a large sukkah, the amount of puzzle schach is four amas, the amount of puzzle space is um, three tfachim. So in that case, I understand you, Rabbah. There are different amounts. This is four amas, this is three tfachim, two alachal emotion misinais, you can't, apples and oranges. But ask the bai, but what if you get to a tiny sukkah, a puny sukkah? A sukkah that's seven tfachim by seven tfachim. Well, in that case, both when it comes to puzzle schach, and when it comes to space, as long as there is less than three tfachim, the sukkah is kosher. If there's more than three, three tfachim, the sukkah is possible, right? So meaning, let's take the space for a second. We have a sukkah that's seven tfachim by seven tfachim, which means that every tefach is important. Now, if you have up to three tfachim of space missing in the schach, so then it's okay, we could say lavud, and it's as if you, everything's connected. Once you have three tfachim, we can no longer say lavud, which means that there's a gap there, and you only have four tfachim of, 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 of schach, and, and that's a problem. You need at least seven. Now, we'll say the same thing by schach posel. Interestingly, if I understand correctly, as long as there's less than three tfachim of schach posel, so we could still say lavud and say, you know what, there's less than three tfachim, we can view it as though the schach kosher just goes all the way to the end, and you, you, again, you could view it as if there's seven, seven tfachim of schach, of schach, of schach. But once already there's three tefachim of schach pasul, you can no longer say love it. You can no longer view it as though the schach kosher goes all the way to the, you know, covers the entire sukkah. And at that point, even by three tefachim of schach pasul, you no longer have seven tefachim of schach. So for all intents and purposes, in a small sukkah, the amount of schach pasul and the amount of space is going to be the same to pass the sukkah, which is three tefachim. So Amalei Abayi, so Abayi says to Rabbi, Ulamar Nami, but according to you also, Rabbi, Nihide lo shavu shirai b'sukkah gedola, sure, in a sukkah that has plenty of space, sure, the amount of schach posel is going to be four amis, and the amount of space is going to be three tefachim. But b'sukkah ketana mi lo shavu shirai, but on a sukkah that's mamish seven tefachim by seven tefachim, at the end of the day, the schach posel and the space are both going to be three tefachim which would make them the same, and which would make them not apples and oranges, but apples and apples. Omrile Asim, a rabbi says, meh, that's not a good shayla. When it comes to small sukkah, it's not because the shear of schach posel and the shear of space are the same. That's not true. They're not the same. The shear of schach posel is still four amas, and the shear of space is still three tfachim. El mishum de leise le shiura de sukkahu. In that case, it's that you don't have a sukkah. It has nothing to do with how much schach posel is posel and how much space is posel. It has to do with the fact, well, once already you have three tefachim of schach posel, when it's a seven by seven tefach sukkah, you don't have a sukkah anymore because you don't have seven by seven tefachim anymore. It has nothing to do with how much schach... It's not like the shear of schach posel now becomes three tefachim. That's not true. 
It's just that once you have three tefachim schach posel, then mainly you don't have a sukkah anymore. But the shiurim are still the same, and they're still apples and oranges, and therefore that you know there's never going to be a case where they're the same amount, and therefore you can't you cannot join them together. But now the Gemara asks, one second, but just because there are different amounts, that means that you can't join them together, right? Rabbi's whole thing is that Schach Pasel is four Amis. Space is three Tvachim. Different amounts, apples and oranges, you can't join them together. But for the Gemara, what? Just because they're different amounts, does that necessarily mean that you cannot join them together? V'yatnan, we learn in the Mishnah. Ha-Begit Shlosha Shlosha. If you have a, um, a, a, a garment that's three Tvachim by three Tvachim. Hasak Arba'al arba. Uh, a sack, if it's four tvachim by four tvachim, ha'or chamisha, chamisha, hide, if it's five tvachim by five tvachim, mapat shisha al shisha, if you have a mat that is six tvachim by six tvachim. So those are the sizes they have, that they have to be in order to be makabal tumma. Um, um, a garment, three by three tvachim, a sack, four by four tvachim, hide, five by five tvachim, and mat, six by six tvachim. Vitani ala, we talked about it, ha'beged ve'asak, Hasak va or or va mapats mit starfin zaimze that you can have a garment and a sack joined together. So for example, if you have three, if you have a sack that's three tvachim by three tvachim, and then you add and you join it together with a garment which is more stringent than a sack, because a sack the amount is four by four, which is a larger amount than the garment which is three by three. So you could tack on the garment to the sack in order to make it four tvachim by four tvachim. Because it's a more, you're adding a more stringent amount to it. And the same thing with the, um, sack and the hide and the hide and the, and the mat. So we see that different amounts can join together, right? The garment, which is three by three, could join together with the sack, which is four by four. And the same thing with the hide and the mat. So Hasim Kedikhtani Taima, so we say no, over there it's because of the reason that was explained. Amrib Shimon, Matam, Hovroi, Latame, Moshev, no, the reason why they could join together is because even though they're different amounts, they all actually have the same amount in terms of being metame moshev, right? If you have a zav, if a zav sits on something that's meant to be sat on, so it becomes um, an avatuma like him. So be- all of these materials, the beged, the sak, the or, the mapats, all of them are able to um, make uh, be become tame with tumas midras at one tefach by one tefach. Kedetanan, as we learn. In the Mishnah, Katsaya Mikul and Tefach al Tefach Tome. So, so if you, you know, uh, properly cut away, um, uh, one Tefach by one Tefach by any of these materials with like a proper, um, you know, razor and you, and you make it into a proper Tefach measured, properly measured out Tefach al Tefach, well then by any of these materials, um, they can become Tome Tumas Midras. Tefach al Tefach Maichazi. What is a one Tefach by one Tefach garment good for? That we would say that it become tame tumas midras, right? In order for it to be, you know, tame, it has to be significant. So, because you can use it for a patch on a saddle. Okay, fine, sounds good to me. So, in that, in that case, really, the only reason why the, the different amounts could join together is because they actually all do share a common denominator amount, which is if you cut a proper um, one tefach by one tefach square out of any of those material, then they um, become. Uh, but Rabba's uh, argument that you cannot join together different amounts uh, stands. Okay, fine. Bisura Amre La Shmaita by Lishno. So in Sura, they explain everything that we just said. They explain that um, the anecdote with Rabba and the the, the students of the Bismedrish of Rav in the way that we just learned it. That Rav's opinion is that four Tvachim of Pasul schach in the middle of the sukkah makes the sukkah pasul. That's what the students of Rav were saying is the opinion of Rav. Now, in Narda, Masnu, they taught, Om Rav Yudah, Om Shmuel, that says Rav Yudah in the name of Shmuel, schach pasul be'emtza pasul be'arba, that schach pasul in the middle of the sukkah is possible with four tefachim. Minatzad posel by ba amas from the side where we say dofen akum it's four amas. Virav amar and Rav says bein minatzad bein beemtza by ba amas. That whether it's from the side, whether it's in the middle, it's four amas, like Rabba was saying. So up until now, 
We were saying that this, so it, we said that in Surah, which is how we were understanding up until now, the students of Rav were saying that Tzach Pasol, the middle of this of the Sukkah, is for Tfachim. And Rava was arguing and saying, what do you mean? It should be for Amis. So in Naharda, however, they explained that Shmuel's opinion is that Tzach Pasol in the middle of the Sukkah is for Tfachim. And that from the side, we'd say Dofen Akum up until four Amas. And Rav is the one who argues and says, like Rav was saying earlier, which is that Pasul Schach in the middle of the Sukkah is for Amas. So basically, Pasul Schach anywhere in the Sukkah is for Amas. Tanan, we learn in a Mishnah, a Mishnah that we learned on Daf Yud Dalit. Nosan Alea Nesir Shurachov Arba Tfachim Shera. If you put and we're assuming right now that this means in the middle of the sukkah you put a board that is four tfachim wide. The sukkah is ksher. Hmm. So bishlama lirav to amr ben be'emsa ben minatzad bar ba'amis. So I understand according to Rav who says that tzach posel is posel in four amis. Well, mishumachik ksher. That's why we're saying that the sukkah is kosher because it's only posel. Once you get to four Amis. El the Shmuel, the Omar Be'emsa Ba'arba'a, a Mike Shera, but according to Shmuel, who's saying that Pasul Schach in the middle of the Sukkah is for Tfachim, so why are we saying that if you have this plank in the middle of the Sukkah, that it's Pasul, because of Gzeris Tikra, so, so, so you have this plank in the middle of the Sukkah, and it's four Tfachim wide, so according to Shmuel, who says that Tzach Pasol is Pasol Ba'arba Tfachim, so then shouldn't this be Pasol? Why does the Mishnah say that it's kosher? So, meaning the Mishnah had said it's kosher, just don't sleep under it. So, Achav Mayaskinon Minat Sad. So you can answer it by saying that it's talking about from the side. Meaning Shmuel will say, yes, Tzach Pasol in the middle of the sukkah is for Tfachim, but this plank was on the side, so we were able to say Tofen Akuma, and that's why it's kosher, just don't sleep under it. Toshma, come in here. Shnei So we say that if you have two uh, cloths, they could join together to make four tefachim to pass the sukkah. Shnei nesarim ein mitztarfin. But two, well, it depends. The four tefachim, four amos, whatever it is. Whatever it is. The, right, the garments can join together. and But the planks do not join together. Okay, fine. That we said was the opinion of Rabbi Yehuda. When we saw it on Daf, was it Yudal Rama Beis? Reb Meir Omer says, Reb Meir Nisarim Kisdinin, that the planks are like the uh, cloths in that they do join together. Okay. Now, Bishlam Alach Lishna De Amurav Ben Be'emtza Ben Minatzad Ba'ar Ba'amis. So I understand According to the way that they understand Rav in Naharda, which is that he says that Tzach Pasol is for Amis, because if you remember, on Daf Yudalid, we had explained Rav as saying that the Machlokas between Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Meir regarding um, this plank was when the plank itself was for Tfachim. And therefore, if we say that, so we're saying that we're talking about a plank that's fourth Fachim. Rabbi Yehuda says that uh, it doesn't join together to, to make the Sukkah apostle. Rabbi Meir says it does join together to make the Sukkah apostle. So I understand according to Rav, according to the way that they learned him in Arda, which is that apostle Schach makes the Sukkah apostle by four Amis. So then my Mitzvahim, what does it mean that Rabbi Meir says that these planks can join together. Each plank is four tfachim. And we're saying that they could join together mitzvah from the Dalad Amis in order to make four Amis of Pasul Schach in the middle of the Sukkah. But according to the first way that they learn Rav in Surah, which is that Schach Pasul is Pasul in the Sukkah with four tfachim, well then, I don't understand. Ide isbu dalid. If we're talking about a plank which is for tefachim, well then lamalu it's tarufe. Then why do they have to join together, right? If we're saying like they say in surah that Rav's opinion is that for tefachim apostle schach in the middle of the sukkah is apostle, 
And this plank itself is for Tfachim. So then why would Reb Meir say that it needs to join together to make the Sukkah apostle? It's for Tfachim. And Reb Meir is saying that that's apostle. And for Tfachim of apostle Schach, according to the way that they learn Rav in Surah, is already going to apostle the Sukkah. So what does that have to join together for anything? He delays Bu'udalid. And if we're saying that the plank is less than for Tfachim, well then, Kanya Ba'al Maninu. Well, then it's just regular kosher schach. What's the problem? So the olam de isbu arba. So really, it's talking about where the plank does have four tefachim of width. Umay mitzdarfin. And what does it mean whether or not you are joining together? Meaning, we're explaining that according to Rav, according to what they learn in Surah, that schach posel is possible by four tefachim. Well then, what does it have to join together to make the schach posel, the sukkah posel? It's already posel. It's a four tefach wide plank in the middle of the sukkah. Mitzdarfin la'ba amis minatzad. You're going to answer that it means that no, it could join these four tefachim planks could join together to make the four amis from the side to say dofin akuma. But in the middle of the sukkah, they would still argue in surah that Rav would say that four tefachim is possible in the middle of the sukkah. Chever, that was daf yudzayin. Complicated daf, huh? Complicated daf. What do we talk about? So we started with the new Mishnah and we said that three tefachim from the side of the, um, of the walls of the, of the sukkah is already um, going to pass the sukkah. And interesting, right, because of it's, we can no longer say lavud, right, three tefachim of space. And interestingly, in terms of the question that we had the other week about can you say dofin akuma for space, according to this, it would sound like no, but apparently there we showed them, we say that yes, so they're going to have to explain this Mishnah somehow. And then we talked about dofin akuma, and we said, right, we know dofin akuma, that if you have um, dofin akuma, some pasal schach coming in from the sides of, from, from the walls into the top of the sukkah, we could say that the wall is considered bent, and it bends all the way to the kosher schach. We had a few different uh, examples of dofin akuma, such as a house that the uh, middle of the ceiling caved in. We also had this um, uh, chotzer that's surrounded by by these um, porches. They can also say dofin akuma, as well as when you mamish have schach pasal surrounding the sukkah, uh, you could say dofin akuma if it's less than four amis in all of those cases. We then essentially got to a machlokas um, between... Well, it's machlokas. Uh, there's two ways to understand the machlokas. Let's say, let's say like this. You have a machlokas regarding how much schach posel is going to make your sukkah posel. There is the opinion that uh, there is the opinion that it makes the sukkah posel with four tfachim. Like was the opinion of in Surah, they say that's the opinion of Rav. In Arda, they say that that's the opinion of Shmuel. And then the other opinion is that actually in the middle of the sukkah, you can have up to four Amis of schach posel. That's the opinion of Rabbah. Uh, the, according to the way that they learn it in Surah, and according to Rav, according to the way that they learn it in Naharda. So those are the two opinions there regarding how much Tzach Pasel is going to make the Sukkah Pasel. Is it for Tfachim of Tzach Pasel or is it for Amis of Tzach Pasel? And that was really the big uh, Machloks that we had uh, towards the end over there. Then we got to, along the way, other Machloks and about can you join together different amounts? Essentially we said, no, not really. Um, yeah, and some other sort of very detailed uh, things along the way, but those were really the big machloks and the big sugis of today's daf. I hope you enjoyed daf Yud Zayin. Have a great day. Cheers.